Anyway, welcome back to another episode. Yeah. It's this, an exciting week. This is going to be a, a good week. Um, going to get dirty. <laughs> Maybe. Dirty, but, <laughs> but it's going to clean up the van a lot. Yeah. We're lucky enough to be sponsored on this episode by White Knight Paints. We yes. actually researched what paints we wanted. We liked the White Knight ones, so we got in touch with them and they were happy to work with us, so that's really cool. Yeah, so we're very excited to have them on board. We were also looking for a renovation style paint, so because we're keeping the caravan interior and it's all laminate, so we needed one of those Renault range paints, which they do. So heading to the Bristol paint store now to pick up our paint and finalize what white we're gonna go with because we haven't really. Yeah, we know we want a warm white. But yeah. That's about it. <laughs> but yeah, we are gonna head there now and we'll take you with us. So we're only needing a white for the, for the interior. We are leaning towards a warm white. We just prefer our warm whites. We've got a few colours here. Obviously we've got them. We've got Milk Cloud and Ocean Pearl. With the White Knight range, it's tangible to like thousands of colours. Obviously we aren't getting too creative with the interior and we are just doing a white. But even then, there's a few whites. So it is kind of hard to choose, but we are liking kind of anything in this range here i'd say out of everything though i am really liking ocean pearl so i think that's what we'll go with because it would look quite nice can we see ocean pearl can we see ocean pearl i mean osi likes it too it's good enough to eat apparently so it's hard probably hard to see but we just want something that's going to work well with darker timbers as well because we will be doing a merbo 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 bench top in the kitchen. So I think this one might be the one. So you want food? She goes, this one tastes good. Oh, it's milk cloud. Oh, milk. <laughs> milk, she likes the milk. That's not milk, darling. So Luke and Osi have just headed down to the shops to grab a few things for today's jobs. I figured this is the perfect time for me to start getting a clean and prepping everything for the paint. So as you guys know, we've gone with White Knight paints on this project. Um, the range that we're using is like a three part process. So you've got your cleaner, your primer, and then your top coat. So I'm going to get a start on the um, cleaning. So it's basically just this spray here. You just spray it on, kind of give everything a really good scrub. It's just to get any like dirt off the walls that's there um just so that primer and top coat can really bond to the wall so so i'm gonna get started on spray some of this on the laminate give it a good scrub and then i just have to let it dry then give it a sand um with 240 grit and then i can get a start on the primer so let's go But I'm running a little bit behind on the cabinetry, mainly because of the water damage I had to fix. Like this panel over here, it took me a whole extra half a day to sort that out. But yeah, Jess has put it in a push on me so we can get the painting done. So I've chucked in the new wardrobe slash pantry. I just rebuilt the whole thing because I needed it to fit the gap perfectly and we wanted to change up where the divider was. We wanted more on the kitchen side, just for pantry and whatever appliances and stuff we've got. Yeah, the kitchen put me a bit behind as well, sorting that out. And over here, I'm gonna put in the new coffee station cabinet. 
get that sorted now and then we can get back into the painting. Does it fit? That was way off. Curves make things hard. Oh no. Yeah. This is on an angle, that's on an angle, that's on an angle, then there's a curve at the bottom. Looks like I got the curve good, but none of the angles are right. I'm just going to tidy up all the holes from things that are pulled out, like the curtain rails and screw holes for the new panels and cupboards. So I just got some builder's bog, just going to go around and chuck all that in now. Go over, give it a light sand, and then we can let the paint in there, we're ready. Right, so I had to patch where some of the light switches were. This one here was a bit of a mission. Um, as you can see, I had to then cut more of the vinyl away. This was where all those staples were, so it was quite flimsy. So I cut the top layer of vinyl off and bogged it. Here is another patch. This one here we use as a new light switch. We've got both of us on board for this next job. Obviously, he's asleep, so I feel like we'll try, try to get it all done within an hour. Try to smash it out. Yeah, so I did all the cleaning, um, and now we're getting on to the painting. So, one thing with the painting was with that white night range, um, it is for tiles and laminate. So, originally, everything in here was laminate. Unfortunately, with Luke needing to replace some of the panels. So there was the wall panels that had some water damage. He had to replace them with a the ply. Um, and then the kitchen. We just kept the original frame, but restructured it a little bit with some more ply as well. So that did change things for us a little bit with the paint. Luckily, I just called the White Knight Hotline and I just they're so informative. They've helped us already a few times with this um, with this build and just needing paint knowledge. But we gave them a call and just said what we've done. They said they don't have a paint, so a primer for the for, for the timber with, through the White Knight range, but there was one available with Torfman's. So for the timber pieces, we aren't able to use the primer that we've got. Um, but we did just get a Torbman's primer specifically for wood and oil based. So we'll get that down on there. And then everything after that can have the white night um, top coat. I was like, look, I'm going to take my shoes off because shoeless will be better. And it's literally like me walking around the plastic is just stuck, <laughs> stuck to my feet. Oh my god, it's a trap. <laughs> First lick of paint. Lick, lick, lick. Lick, lick, lick. Nice. The cream primer is actually a vibe. It's nice. Isn't it? I like it. screw but won't be using it after that yeah so I've got the wet dry sandpaper I've done the base coat and I'm using a 400 grit and then I'll do another coat and probably use a 600 grit um, it, yeah basically I'm just gonna go around sand all the walls cupboards just everything and then give it a coat of our color so I'm excited for that should look pretty good after today while Luke's inside doing the painting I'm going to be out here just prepping all of the cupboard doors. We've got quite a few to get through. These are just the bedroom ones and then I've got all the kitchen ones. So we're basically going to do the same thing with these as we did with the interior. So I'm going to give them a good clean with that um, cleaning spray. Then the white knight primer. And then we'll do two coats of paint. So it's the exact same process. I don't know. We're just wondering whether we keep these little locks or not. I do like them because they're original. I was just unsure if I wanted to put something different, like a little brass handle or something. 
think we will keep them for now though. I've also got the little original hinges, so I definitely want to keep these. base coat, I've just given it a sand. You can see it's kind of still like see-through, which is fine. It just needs to be there for the paint to stick, for the top coat to stick. What are you doing to that screw out there, mate? Oh, I think a lot of them are rusted, like in here, so they're hard to get out. <laughs> You're gonna have to grind it off if you keep doing that. Um, yeah, so we are now going to put a coat of paint on. This is our paint. Tile and laminate. Satin finish. And we went for the colour Ocean Pearl. But after we painted it with the base coat, this is like a creamy colour. And we kind of like that. So we're going to chuck a coat of this on see if it looks any good and then if it doesn't we might recolor the next coat indecisive us yeah i think we'll still like the ocean pearl it was a nice color yeah. i just remember there was ocean pearl and then there was another one something coconut and it was a, a bit darker a bit creamier and i was like no it'll be too dark but now i'm kind of like oh, it would have been nice oh do you like ocean pearl or coconut you look like you're ready for sleep. <laughs> look at those tired eyes. Uh, I like coconut. I am a coconut. Cupboards are primed and so this is the first coat of the top coat which is looking pretty good. Uh, we still have I think about another two or three hours till we can till we can do another coat. So it's only about 1 pm. So we do that one in Salvo. There's that spot where we took the oven out. The sink is going to go above it, but below um, we want to use as storage because it'll be quite a big area. So Luke had to cut to size. Another drawer face, and luckily because we're not using the original wardrobe doors, that is what he's used. So there's that one, and then there's another little one as well that we need to make. And then yeah, I'll get those painted. It fits. Just. Just. <laughs> Just. I need a little bit more room. So I can make room. We can. I'm not rebuilding the drawer front, the door front, that's for sure. No. Alright, the first top coat has dried. It says on the can about six hours, but it was a bit humid here, so we waited like eight hours. And um, yeah, it's definitely dry now. And it's looking really, really good. Like, I'm loving it on the original panels. Looks really good. On the um, the panels where I had to replace, it looks at the timber. You can see the timber grain and whatnot, but that's okay. Like it's only going to be 
noticeable in a couple of spots. I'll uh, start the process for the second top coat, which is sanding. So I'm going to sand with the 600 grit wet dry sandpaper. Uh, give it a wipe down and then I'm going to start the coat of paint. So. One more panel here to finish up, and then that's it. That's one base, two tops done, and I think it's covered everything. Going over that um, last coat, then I was like, it's covering real well. So, two tops is all you need. Yesterday. Looks like I missed the second top coat above this window as well. <laughs> and you know why? Because you weren't brushing. So yeah. I think if I roll that out as quickly. Yeah. Um, so um, I wanted to eliminate brush strokes on the last coat. So. Because you can see them here with the fur. Yeah. It's just not really a vibe. Plus, that's a spot we're always going to look at because it's going out the door. It's not. Like, I wouldn't care so much if, if it wasn't somewhere obvious. And same with this, it's kind of like eye level. So yeah, we did, like I cut them pretty close with the first top coat yesterday, and then we we're just rolling as close as we could, and it looks all right. You can see down here, like that's what I did here. So brush strokes, nice. Yeah. Um, and also another thing to note, we used the satin finish there. Yeah. That's a big story. So yeah, we use the satin finish and you can... Good. Are you masking up? Are you doing the masking? That's really pretty light Yeah. So, yeah, we did the satin finish and then you can still see how much of a sheen it's got. Yeah. Like, I think if you went gloss, in a situation like this, like in a caravan, it would be It'd way be too, too much. much. Yeah, I definitely think satin all the way. Yeah. And I know I said the other day how I didn't like the grain texture on the timber, but with that second top coat, it really filled it in. Like, here is what I was looking at yesterday, and I was like, oh, I know. Happening. Plus it was a dark apply to begin with. Yeah, and then this is what it came out with with the finished coat, which is really good. And then don't worry about this section, that's all tiled. Can we show a tile sneak peek? You wanna see a tile sneak peek? I don't know. I'll show it really quick. Okay. <laughs> I can't even see it. <laughs> Yeah, so this whole area will be tall. But that is for another episode. Hey, Painter. Are you painting? <laughs> That's great. All right, so I'm going to tackle all of these cupboard doors now. I did try to do them last night um, after I had primed and sanded them, but it was getting late and the humidity was so high that it was like 80 something percent and you're only really meant to paint in like 50 or below plus I was getting swarmed by mosquitoes so I just gave up and thought I'll just do it tomorrow morning so here we are today so I just have to do two coats of the paint 
pretty much similar to what we did inside. So I'm going to give them one coat now and then leave them for probably about six hours and then give another coat in Savo. And then once that's dry, we can get them installed. Today, I am going to be fixing up these old hinges. So these were the original ones that came with the van. So we really want to still keep them and utilize them because they are pretty cool. Love like the retro look as well. Um, so... I've already actually soaked these in Coca-Cola. It was just something I read online. You soak them in Coke and it kind of helps bring the rust off. And then I'm just gonna hit them with this wire brush. The one I did actually do yesterday. So you can kind of see, yeah. They're originally like a rose gold color, um, but this kind of went a little bit silver too, which isn't really what we want. So we're gonna spray these gold. So basically we've just got like a wire brush um, and then I'm literally just scraping it. Like it takes the rust off so quickly which is great. I don't know if that's because I did put the coke on it the other day. Like I soaked them for about, I probably soaked them for about 12 hours the other day in Coca-Cola. So you can already see like it's getting... Like compared to the back, it is getting clean. So this is what we are going to do the latches with, sorry, hinges with. So it's just the squirts the gold. I've heard really great things about this, so I think it should work really well. And it saves us buying new latches and hinges because we are obviously wanting to repurpose as much of like everything from this caravan okay this is the hinges after the wire brush it was a little bit of a elbow grease but they came up pretty good i've also just given them a little clean just to get off any extra residue and i've laid this them out on this board ready for paint so i'm just going to do that now that is one coat of the squirts I really like the way it's looking. I think it will need a second one though, so we'll give it about an hour, and by then it should be dry and ready for a second coat. See how it goes. I've got a new bench top here for the kitchen. Uh, we weren't going to install it yet. Well, I'm not going to install it. I'm just going to cut it and sit it into place. So basically, see what it looks like. We've got some the original cupboard clips, and they're brown. We're thinking about painting them gold. Not too sure. So. Just want to get a good visual by putting this bench top in and seeing what everything looks like. Uh, as far as the bench top goes, it's just a Merbu bench top from Bunnings. I love that bench top. It looks so good. I hope you love it for the weight of it. <laughs> Is it heavy? It's pretty heavy, yeah. Oh, okay. Brown Is, versus Can you mind this? We probably got a little bit darker once we stain it as well. Slightly. Mm. And then you've got your the gold hinges that'll that'll match that. I think when you look at it together, looks good. I like the gold. Yeah, like the I brown. think because that to that looks weird. Yeah. But I think once you're matching, but I want to look at it from afar. Can you hold that there? Yeah. All right. Here are all the latches and the hinges all sprayed and ready to go on so exciting Yay, we are in, seeing an end point putting everything back together so oh, good done two doors already yeah and it looks really cool yeah we're really happy with how it's turned out we got some gold screws from bunnings as well and yeah they like match perfectly so good so now just do all the rest one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get all the doors on and then we'll show you what it all looks like. And then see if we need to make any changes. Ooh, looks so good. Oh, I'm stoked. All the holes are covered up. Well, not all the holes. Awesome. All the door and drawer holes. Yeah, looks great. Super happy with that. Oh, so this one opens this way. Yeah, I thought I'd do that. I mean, I just made it up as I went. Yeah. That's really cool. It looks great. Obviously, before anyone judges our paintwork, 
There's obviously little touch-ups that we still need to do, but I'm really happy with that. What an episode that was. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was, I feel like maybe five days all up it took us to do all the painting and everything relating to the painting, just with the humidity and just... The extra things that we thought of doing, like painting these gold, yeah. painting them gold. Yeah. Uh, working out that we need a different... Yeah, a different cabinetry to what we thought. Yeah, more cabinetry. So yeah, but thank you for watching yes. and thanks again to our sponsors White Knight for sponsoring us for this video. Yeah. It's awesome. We're stoked with the product, so we've been really happy to partner with them. Yeah. So yeah. So please like and subscribe. Uh, it means heaps to us. Keeps yeah. us motivated, keeps us doing these videos. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Building a van is hard enough. It Making is. a video is just that little bit extra. So. Yeah. 